week before Christmas and somewhere up north, dear Santa was frantic. He paced back and forth. He had just heard some news that he sure didn't like. It seemed that the reindeer were going on strike. Yes, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, even Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. They said we are finished. We've had quite enough of pulling your sled with such big, heavy stuff. We're striking, dear Santa, and until things get better, we're no pulling or crying. We're in this together. So Santa decided, that's fine, be that way. I'm sure I'll find out a tool for my dear sled. So we wrote up a long ad for lands far and near. Please come and help Santa, or no Christmas this year. Soon creatures came running and clomping and dancing. Um, uh, so many to choose, which one should I pick? No, uh, I'll show those old reindeer. They can't stop St. Nick. Let's start with the pooches. Yes, dogs would be best. So we hooked them all up and gave them a pet. To the top of my wall, to the top of my roof. And the dogs started scrambling and barking. Woof, woof. They're flying. I knew it, St. Nick began yelling. But then those dogs started sniffing and smelling. There's food, the dogs whimpered. Yes, food, come this way. And the dogs scampered off, forgetting the sled. I won't be discouraged. Come on, cats, it's showtime. The cats trotted over and were harnessed in no time. Go fly, Santa holler, to the top of that hill, where the cats all dashed forward and they'd be running still. If not for that stray mouse that ran in their way, they shook off their harness, no flying today. No pooches, no felines, what am I to do? How about some true flyers, called Santa. Yoo-hoo, flamingos, he summoned. It's your turn, <coughs> let's go. I must say, your pink looks divine in the snow. They soared up to the roof where they gracefully perched. You did it, said Santa, but they started to lurch. On one leg, they wobbled and hobbled, and how they tipped up. Soon they lost the balance of how they tipped up. Just then came eight hopefuls hopping along. I think we can help. We're all very strong. Yes, yes, welcome, Santa. I think you will do. Then he harnessed them off, those eight red kangaroos. Let's hit the third side. They're hired, let's go. But the hopper soon struggled. They started to slow. They stopped and they stumbled. They looked quite ashamed. The captains were loaded with the weight was to blame. We keep all your presents to red leaves, said Sappy. I'm sorry, dear Santa, but the hay looks so badly. Oh. And then Santa heard it. Trumpeted sound as eight marching elephants shook up the cold ground. Good fellow, we'll help you. We're sturdy, we're steady. So we harnessed them up, and the gray priests were ready. They stomped and took off. Nick said, You can do it! They flew to the rooftop and then fell right through it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're too heavy, griped Santa, as he helped them to stand. Isn't anyone out there who can give me a hand? No snippers, no chasers, no animal grouches. No one-legged birds and no creatures with pouches. Well, who should come over but the reindeer? How strange. We'll help you, dear Santa, but a few things must change. A whirlpool and sauna would make us quite able. <laughs> and a real bed, not grass. And a heater and cable. We'll have it in more. That's a promise of fact. And the reindeer and Santa signed a lifelong contract. And so that's why Near Christmas Day, you'll always see Santa and pulling his sleigh are eight trusty reindeer who love the animals' life. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to all and to all.